Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Assassin's Creed Mirage. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we'll go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now we're going to start by the screen. So first of all, field of view. If you want to increase your field of view, you're going to lose performance or so really important to know that by default, it's at 100%. After my old guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, I recommend to maybe go at 90% or 80%. It will help a little bit with your FPS. So for the FPS, I don't limit it. I don't like to limit my FPS. I want less input lag, but it's a question of preference, honestly. Uh, if you're playing on the laptop or you have bad thermal, I don't really necessarily recommend to unlock your FPS. Match it with your amount of Hertz of your monitor. So if you have a 60 Hertz monitor, just lock your FPS at 60. For the window mode, I really recommend to go full screen. You have a couple of options. I was getting some random stuttering in Borderlands. I didn't like it. And also I was losing FPS. So important to go full screen and for all the all the other options, make sure that you're playing native. So aspect ratio, native resolution, make sure that you have your native resolution. By default, the refresh rate was at 60. So look at this if you have a, a nice refresh rate monitor. So put your native also. And I don't add any V-Sync. I don't want any input lag. Um, if you have G-Sync, free sync, use that. Uh, if you don't like the, the, the tiering when you're playing the game, uh, those horizontal lines, you can definitely add your V-Sync. You know, you're not playing Valorant or uh, Counter-Strike, so you can. It's, it's not that bad, the input lag. So for the graphics section, you have, first of all, the world, uh, world detail. You have a lot of different options over there. I recommend to go with medium. It's the best visual slash performance mode for me. Uh, if I compare ultra high to medium, you can expect 12% boost in your FPS. When, when you go at high very high and ultra high, you will see that it tanks a lot your performance. So my recommendation is go with medium. Pretty much the same thing with clutter density. Not a huge difference between medium and low. I saw 1% different and your visual is a lot better. So I recommend to go with medium and you're going to gain 8% over there. Shadow is probably the best parameter if you want FPS. If you compare ultra high to low, you can expect 24% boost in your FPS. So it's pretty huge. And volumetric cloud also is huge. If you compare ultra high to medium, you can expect 18% boost. So those are really important. Just start with your shadow and volumetric cloud. Look at your FPS and you're, if you're fine with it, just play the game, you know. Water, I recommend to go with medium also. Screen space reflection on the water. Uh, if you're limited, you're playing on a laptop or with a bad GPU, go with off. It can cause stuttering. If not, just go with on. It's like 4% difference, but the effect is really nice when you see the water in the game. For the texture, it really depends on the amount of VRAM that you have, and it's pretty nice because you're seeing your VRAM over there. Make sure that you have 10% empty. So if you like me, you have a lot of space, just put everything at max. But if you're struggling with your VRAM, just like lower a little bit your environment at uh, I and keep your character at I. And if you have uh, like three gig of RAM, of VRAM, sorry, you will probably need to go medium even for your character. For the post processing, I recommend to go depth of fill off, motion blur off, uh, adaptive quality. You don't want to use that for a good visual, vi uh, visual, no blurriness and stuff like that. For unsampled type, if you have an RTX card, definitely go DLSS and make sure that you're choosing quality. All the other modes are very blurry. I don't like them. So go with quality. 
And if you still feel that your game is a little bit blurry, you can definitely uh, increase your sharpened strength. If you don't have an RTX card, you can definitely use the FSR too. TAA is pretty trash, honestly, in this game. So honestly, I'm not a big fan of FSR too. But in this game, I recommend to go with it. And you're going to gain like 5%. Uh, and for the DLS, DLSS, it's like... 8 to 10 percent boost in your fps and make sure and with fsr that you're using also the quality mode so this is pretty much it guys for my assassin's screen mirage uh, guide if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace